Hello and welcome to the second video in the Microcloud YouTube series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can log in out and authenticate against the Microcloud UI. Now, in the previous video, as I mentioned, we have deployed our Microcloud. It was already fully functional. It was ready to go. You can launch your instances. You could use the CLI to do all the configuration that you needed. Um, but then, of course, some people might just prefer to do that in a more visual way through the UI, and we do offer um, quite a nice and a functional UI for everything that you need to do. So, um, as you can see here on the screen, I, I went just to the IP address of my server and, uh, the port 8443, this is the port we use by default for the UI and it's configured as you're deploying your microcloud. Should you wish to use a different port, then um, you just need to go and configure that yourself, but this is all set up by default. And if you go to this, the URL, uh, basically the the IP address of your server, and then 8443 port, you should be able to access the UI. Um, as you can see here as well, it says canonical XD. This is because LexD is the heart and brain of microcloud, and it is the virtualization layer through which you do all the operations. So everything that you would want to do would happen through LexD. And so, um, similarly, when you search for information in the documentation, you will have the microcloud section, which deals with deployment, scaling, and those kinds of things. And then when you want to learn about the operational things, you can switch over to the Lexi tab on the top and then find a lot of information about things that you can do uh, when it comes to operations. Now here on the, on the page, you can see that there are two ways you can log in into the UI. Uh, first one is single sign-on, and this works great if you have an OIDC provider configured. Um, in case you don't, then you can also log in with a TLS certificate. So let me show you first how you can do this with a TLS certificate, and then we'll go back and I will show you also how you can do it with single sign-on. So if you click on login with TLS, you will be given this screen, which basically instructs you what you need to do. So as long as you follow the instructions, you should be uh, ready to go. Um, it has instructions for a variety of browsers. I'm using Chrome, so I will be following the instructions that are listed for Chrome. So first, it tells me to create a non client certificate. If you just click the button, it will do that for you. Um, as you can see, passwords are required for some client certificates. Uh, in this case, it's not, so I'm going to skip that and just generate and download the certificate. Once that is done, you will get a little tick sign. You can go to the Chrome and Certificate Manager um, URL, uh, which uh, will be the place where you can um, import your certificates. So if you go to your certificates, you will have this button called import, and then you can find um, the file that you just downloaded, select, there was no password, so you can just click okay. And that should be ready. So if we go back here, you will see that the certificate is being recognized by the browser. Now it tells you that it's already present, which means that that step is done and you can now skip to step two. Here, it simply tells you to run the following command on your LexD server. Um, so the cluster that we have previously deployed, it will allow you to generate a trust token that you just need to paste below and you should be ready to go. So if you just copy this, you go back to your server. So this is, as you can see, Ubuntu at micro zero one, which was what we used previously to deploy microcloud. You can just paste the, the command and as you can see, it will generate this identity token for you that you then need to copy and move over to the browser and paste it here. Now, one thing that might happen in case you get an error, you see it gives you an instruction this, in case you encounter the error that the admin group is not found, it then gives you a couple of uh, commands that you need to do in order to fix this. Um, but in this case, it shouldn't be an issue. And now you can see we are logged in. Um, the UI now says microcloud. Um, simply we thought it might be less confusing for some people when they access, but now you have the access and you're ready to go. You can create instances, you can do whatever you would like to do. Now let's go back for a second and let me show you what that looks like if you want to use the single sign. Okay, I have to pause the video until I reset so that we can go back to this initial screen. And now let's proceed and go with the, the single sign. Now, um, I already have it set up, so I'm not going to be setting, up, setting it up from scratch. Um, but I just wanted to explain how you can set this up and show you what it looks like on the other side. So if you go to our documentation, as I mentioned, you go to the XD tab here on the top, 
Um, and then getting started in Lexi Server and Client, you will find a couple of how-tos that explain how you can set up authentication with a variety of OIDC providers. Um, we have it for Auth0, Orihydra, Keycloak, and TriD, so you can really choose to use whichever one you see fit. Uh, in this case, I will be using Auth0, and then um, in each of these how-to pages, it basically explains step-by-step -step, um, the process that you need to do in order to uh, basically configure this as your IDC provider. So it tells you a couple of things that you need to do over on the, the Auth0 application side, and I'll show it to you in a second. And then once you set that up, it tells you what you need to do on the LexD side in order to connect to. So for example, when it comes to Auth0, uh, this is my test application that I was using. And then here I had to go and basically uh, configure a couple of things as discussed in the documentation. So for example, if you go to settings, you will need to um, scroll to the allowed, allowed callback URL. So for example, if we go down here, you will see that this is the part that we had to configure. So this is basically the IP address of my server and the port, and then we needed to add a callback. Similarly, when we go to the bottom, there were a couple of things that we had to do in advanced settings, uh, namely, if we go to, to um, the grants types, we had to, until I remembered, uh, we had to uh, click on this device code in order for it to be, to be configured. Uh, but in general, as long as you follow the instructions in the documentation and just go step by step, it will be easy to configure. Then the part that you will need in order to add it back into, into LexD is this domain and client ID. So if I go back to the docs, you will see that once you, once you go uh, back, it gives you a couple of commands on what you need to do on the LexD side. Um, so you need the domain field, you need a client ID field, and finally you need to um, get the API audience value and then use that as well. Once you're uh, set up, and once all of that is done on the LexD side, you can uh, then uh, try to sign in with a single sign on. So let's try to do that. Now, as you can see, since I have it configured already, it will give me this single sign on um, URL. So I will be doing that with my email address. And again, I am logged in into my, um, into my UI and I can proceed and do everything that I need to do. Now, um, as you can see here, once you log in with a single sign-on, you can easily log out if needed and you can map out a lot of other things that we will show in a different video. Uh, but if I log out now and if I go back and choose to log in with single sign-on, you will see that I don't need to put my credential again, but it remembers it and you can easily log in and out. Now, this was all for this video. It was meant to be just a short one to show you how you can get started with logging in into the UI and follow us for more videos that will show you some other useful things that you can do with your microcloud. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.